dolls. We are here with an exciting new development. We're going to gag you with a third episode for the... I mean, I guess if you're a Patreon person, now you're experiencing three episodes a week. But if you're just a regular old cheap-ass fucking bitch, you're getting two. You wanted more, bitch? Now you're getting You've it, You've got it. <laughs> we are recapping The Valley. We weren't going to do it. We weren't even going to watch it. Well, we were probably going to watch it. But like... But we were very like... Uh, we were dreading it. It was a dreadful thing until it served. And then I was like, wait, this show is actually the thing that I've been missing in my life. The thing I've been craving. The thing I've been needing. And it feels good to be here. It feels really good to arrive. It feels like it's somewhere between the past and future. Not the present, but something else. It's Does apocalypse now. Yeah, it's definitely going into the heart of darkness. It's um there's no going back. When you when you first tune into the valley, you are now changed. Your brain chemistry has changed. You've your DNA re- begins to shift. It's like don't they say when you do ecstasy for the first time your brain is never the same or something? They're always saying yeah, like rumors about ecstasy. Anyway, but this actually is the This will change you on like an epigenetic level. It'll spread down to your descendants if you so choose to procreate. You will never be the same, and that's for the best. After bearing witness to the crossover event of the century, you'll never think about life the same way again. Do you want to get into it? Yeah. I'm Carrie. I'm Lara. And you're listening to Sexy, Sexy Unique, Unique Podcast. Podcast. I don't know what I just said. Valley Vanguard. Valley Vanguards. We'll, Valley, work, we'll workshop this. Valley Volvo. <laughs> Valley of the Dolls. That's it. Valley of, of the, the dolls. dolls. So in the concrete jungle of LA. Yeah, as, as Kristen says, in the concrete jungle of West Hollywood. <laughs> that's for your twenties. But we're forty now. We're in our we're forty. We're forty. I was like, tell me about it, sister. <sighs> this is a real reckoning with one's own mortality Mm -hmm. i'm happy to be where i am approaching 40 like feels i feel good yeah you know what i mean like there are certain things that i don't love but on the whole i'm feeling like great and i'm feeling even greater when i watch these 40 year olds torch their lives Mm -hmm. it gives me an even greater regard for myself you're doing well Mm mm-hmm yeah, so we we all watched. Most of us, I think, have already watched the first like seven minutes. So we've already kind of talked about that. Seven minutes of terror. Seven minutes of heaven. Well, we didn't watch. We didn't talk about it on the show. We talked about it at our live show. Uh, but we never spoke on it on I the forgot. podcast. I conflated. We've just been touring so goddamn much. I know, just like the life of touring. So we meet everyone, and there we have like a map of the valley, and we meet everyone. Brittany has had chin lipo Mm -hmm. from plastic surgeon to (laughs) the mid level stars, Dr. Lakey. She's giving, (laughs) she's giving like goodnight mommy, like head wrap to the brim. Like, you know what I mean? I'm wait. Who's Dr. Lakey? Dr. Lakey is the plastic surgeon who's done all of Jax's nose jobs. He did Brittany's boob job. He's like their friend, but also I think that they get like a really big discount on their plastic surgery and it's showing honey. (laughs) I read that. So Brittany, look, things aren't what they used to be. Let's just say that. And her face is giving like you. (laughs) Sorry. Her face is giving like you've taken things in an interesting direction, a direction that I wouldn't choose aesthetically, but like love and light to you and your neurotoxins and surgical procedures of choice. But she says during the whole season, her mouth is going to be like sad clown turned down because she has like, I think it's because if you can get like nerve damage from chin lipo. And I think it's like pulling her mouth down. I don't know if it has healed now or like what her face status is now. But I was like, Jesus. It's like drama mask. It's sad. It's really sad drama mask vibes. Well, honestly, though. And she kind of can't speak. 
I sort of appreciate how candid she is about all the work she's had. Mm -hmm. I like that. Me too. Because I feel like some people might just be a sad mask without. Yeah. And she's sort of, she's like. It's what's, it is what it is. It's who I am. They carved me up like a goddamn pumpkin. Now here I am. Here I am. <laughs> I'm a fucking jack o' lantern this season. Um, so she's had Shin Lipo to take care of her turkey gobbler. Mm-hmm. And we'll see. I guess we'll have to have season two to see if it really paid off in the long run. Body modifying to appease Krakatoa with his volcano dick is just <laughs> something to. Really consider. Dodie has had to downgrade from home ownership to vertical blinds apartment life, and it is so jarring and deeply sad. Why did she lose the house? Well, oh, she broke up with. I think that guy. she lost the house because she lost her job. I think she had no. They're really glazing over the fact that like Dodie got like full-blown canceled shit canned like her book cut the fuck yeah. off i mean i think she literally went from like i don't know if she i think she probably reached a point where she was like i have no foreseeable income on the horizon like yeah. think about it who the fuck would hire her i know what has she been doing i truly her don't pod? know i guess but like does i mean Stassi Can she had, even make like money off of her podcast? I mean, Stasi had such a good cushion to fall back on. Yeah, she had a business already happening in tandem with her. But even her, I mean, but I think Stasi had a Patreon or whatever. Like she That's had what people paying. Yeah. I don't think Dodie had anything. So I don't think you can go from like having a mortgage payment that's due every month and bills that are due. To Oof. then having Nothing. no income on the horizon, I think like you need to sell. What do you think she? And she said that her boyfriend at the time, that guy, was like, "Sell the house and move in with me." They broke up like five months later or something. No, I'm just like I'm really Maybe wondering. She made some money back off of the sale of the house and then was able to like float herself for a while. She has that T-shirt line. Oh yeah, what's it called again? James May. <laughs> Literally, the only people who could hire her again was Bravo. I know. They so they honestly, they kind of had to do her a solid. Anyway, she's she has a new boyfriend now, and this guy Luke, who li- who's full time living in Colorado, but it's like a long distance thing. They met at some at a wedding at a wedding where there were tents they and they fucked behind a tent, which I was like, been that. there, girl. But I was just like, that is all i need to hear yeah like that was like kristen fucking outside not in a tent but behind a tent That's i did i did that kind of at the last wedding i went to i went a little doty but that is what we want from yeah. these people That's what and, we crave from our queen and honestly at a wedding anything goes and truth be told it's very doty the situation she finds herself in where she meets a guy at a wedding fucks him behind a tent and then is like let's start a business together and have a child yeah so they're really like they're going in for like full like procreate immediately ovulating like scheduling their fucks to match up with her ovulation he flies in every once in a while from colorado lays pipe and then leaves but i'm like I see you sister because she this guy has like a ranch or like a land a big property out in Colorado and I'm like she's getting the heads up she's angling for apocalypse bunker I hope she goes I think Kristen would actually do well in Colorado me too she has Colorado energy she totally has like boulder energy absolutely and I can see her she would do well in a state of mostly white people (laughs) <laughs> given her history given her history i would say but go to the white man's land of colorado the cursed land but i think she i just see her like having a baby like opening up maybe like a like a like a dog biscuit store or like a weird like s- spiritual pet store slash jewelry hybrid thing mm-hmm. and like just living that but and going on hikes with like a with a baby bjorn and like growing weed or like a and nature then, mama. And getting into that prepper life because that guy is on to something. Luke? He's suspiciously quiet. Kind of hot. 
I'm like kind of weirdly. I feel like he's a big dick. Ooh, he's really not my type. I don't. He's really, not my type either. But I know, but I don't like like blonde guys. They freak me out, kind of. But like, yeah, they do. He. But he's like, I don't know. It's out of the norm for her, which I'm like, this does seem like probably out of all the people you dated, the most, kind. the closest you can get to like a good dad vibe. But I'm also just like, you're planning on having a baby with someone that doesn't even live here. Who's also like your business partner. And also like you haven't been together that long. Like for me, I'm like, why don't you just get some sperm and like shove it up your puss? Like it's probably way more expensive. Can't you just baby bait? Can't you just Turkey baste yourself? I saw an episode of the L word where the lesbians Turkey basted. It wasn't like IVF. They just put cum in a baster and then they pretended to, they kind of like fucked and it was romantic. And then they just, I, I think if I you just buy some sperm, I think you can just buy sperm for like nine hundo and then you just baste yourself. Yeah, but I mean, she might be, she has less ovaries or less eggs to work with. I think she just really wants it. I think she's just like, I've reached a point where she's like, I just need to have a baby. I know, but I'm just, what I'm saying is you could do that alone. I know, but I think she... I don't she think wants Kristen, the ranch. I don't think Kristen... I think she's very codependent. Yeah, I don't think she can do it on her own. <sighs> Jason and Janet are really cute. Okay, I, I really wanted to not like Janet, but I can't I help I can't help myself. I like her a lot. I miss Stan. And Jason's really hot. He's hot. And they're, they're nine months pregnant, right? Or eight months pregnant? They're pretty pregnant. They're really cute together. They're normal... They seem really funny. They seem like they're lo- Janet. Seems like a real lawler. She was like a party gal. I recognize her. She's around. Yeah, I'm into her. I'm into her too. They She's like voice of reason vibes. He's a lawyer. Yeah, I like them. Um, Jesse and Michelle. It wouldn't be a true Vanderpump spinoff if you didn't have a couple that actively hated each other and we're on the precipice of divorce they're not in the valley they live behind the chateau marmont and they're both in real estate and he is the worst person i've seen on tv in a long time they loathe each other she is in a hell of her own making he's triangulated against her with their own child and their dog and she's like I hate every uh, every day of my life. I regret being alive. He's also kind of gay. He is kind of gay. Um, I think that's why he gets away with acting like he does. But every man in LA is kind of gay. That's true. That is true. That's the most unfortunate thing is that they're all kind of gay, but also straight. They're really, he, they're, he's really mean to her. Yeah. And it seems like they. We learn later that he hasn't helped once in the nighttime with the baby. Pig. And he even is like, I'm not great at being a dad. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool. Well. I love that. Now and what? she gets left to be the bad guy all the time. Amazing. Um, David, Daniel and Naya are cute. They're a little boring. I'm. They, they have twins and a. They have three. Three under two. Three under two. And he is a former star of Hannah Montana and iCarly. I don't let's let's star is generous. I think he was like a very tertiary actor on like you Nickelodeon roll the tapes. shows or Disney Channel shows. Now he does like voice acting for like and he we're does not talking background like, voice acting. Yeah, we're not talking like big bucks like Red Dead Redemption or like a big like video what, game. Yeah, ga- Grand Theft Auto or something. It's zombie no- s- zombie snarls and fighting sounds and of being like oh and new york sounds hey and he records it in hey his cl- watch it he records it in his closet it's sad and she's former miss usa i don't know they make me sad they make me really sad because it's like you both achieved something and started out like you were going places i guess and then now you're here saddled with three kids and Mm -hmm. on the valley but they have promise they love each other well you'd have to to be them i like her a lot i do too she has like i like pageant vibes he's like a dork 
He's like dorky dad. Yeah, I thought he was like sinister at first, but no. then I realized I was mistaken. Jesse. I mistook Jesse for him because they have like a similar appearance vibe. But I'm like, I'm they're one to watch. I, don't I really think... like her beauty. Pa- I I craved beauty pageantry. I don't think Jesse and Michelle are together anymore. No, I think they split up. Good. Kristen meets sad Kentucky gay Zach and Sir Jasmine at brunch. And we get a photo of Jasmine with Peter Madrigal, but his face is blurred out. Peter said, you will not use my likeness. He was like, you're going to pay. We all know that they offered Peter zero (laughs) dollars to return. They said they literally said, you can come back, but you're not getting paid. So you can just be on the show for free Mm -hmm. or not come back. Those are your two options. And he said, I'm not coming back. So now I think he's like, you will not use my likeness. Peter's gone rogue by saying, no, you can't use my face. Get him on the valley. Uh, no one wants that peter's better as the manager at sir that's where he's meant to be for life is that where he's gonna be for all eternity yeah oh my god that's where he's gonna be until like the health department finally raids it and shuts it down (sighs) for good so they meet for brunch and kristen goes zach was zach was was, (laughs) zach was britney's best friend from kentucky but i stole him he's mine now i i don't like i this you don't gay, like stolen gay. Energy. This gay, I stole this gay, and he's mine now. He's my gay now. I just, wrote, I just wrote, God damn it. <laughs> also, I was like, this is really bold of you to have like the first scene that Kristen films be with like a black woman, and you're not even gonna acknowledge anything that happened to like get her off of Vanderpump Rules. Like, not even nod to that or like. That you put a black woman's life in danger? Yeah, that you just, you got severely canceled and fired for, like, calling the cops on a black woman that was also working at Sir and also on the show with you. And, like, now you're just going to come in here. Act like everything. Act like everything's fine with, like, the one black woman that's cast (laughs) on this show. It just felt a little bit like, damn, Bravo's wild for that. But, like, I guess go off. Yeah, it's really... It's not good. So Dodie's like, Luke's coming to LA for the summer and we're really trying. We're practicing a lot. Rock and roll. We're going to get pregnant. Jasmine. I'm, I like Jasmine in her confessional. She's kind of like, I don't know. He's, he's all right. Luke he's is, a ra- He's truly a random. She's like, he's a, she's like literally like, I don't even, this, she just someday just one day just had this man and he's just boring. Jasmine goes, so there's this guy, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> it literally is like, whomst is he? And she's like, we're fucking all the time, rock and roll. And then Zach goes, ew. He goes, oh, she goes, I don't, I don't want to hear that. He's one of those like. He's a screaming gay. Who well, no, he's like a, he's like, ew, pussy. Like he's, he's like an ew vagina gay. But he's also like a screaming guy. I think it's like he's also had it up to here with Dodie and her men because he's like literally she dates like a new man every five months who's awful and this one's like the least awful of all the men that she's dated. Would Kristen be good dating a woman? No. <laughs> she would they would have Why? I think she'd be good. I think they would have a crazy like she, Lesbian. I think, is in her Gaia. She's in a place of Gaia, like, full bosom energy. And I think that she could step into Earth Mama, like, with another... With She needs to find a really patient lesbian. And no. then they could, they could L-word based Kristen and then have a baby together. And I think she'd actually be better as a lesbian. I feel that way about Katie, but I'm also, like... I, I feel like Kristen has potential to be like Samron, Lindsay kind of lesbian. I think early Dodie, definitely. But this Dodie, Gaia Dodie seems like Colorado more Dodie. Colorado Dodie Colorado leaves lesbian. Luke, takes the baby and finds like a white dreadlock lesbian who's extremely patient. Dr. Deb. I could also see Dodie like running into Dodie at like a dead show. Like I could see her finding like her Wook tribe and mm-hmm. becoming like a traveling deadhead who sells like crystals and, and her- lets her kid play in the dirt on they the lot. Kids? The, Girl, the Wooks? They, oh, they have kids. They bring at them to shows? The final show that I went to in San Francisco, I was coming up on a hero's dose of mushrooms 
and there was like a woman who like brought her infant in a stroller in and was like and the kid was like clearly not excited to be at a Grateful Dead concert but this woman was a full like thin 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 white dreadlock piled on the head Mother like God. harem pants just like bouncing this baby around and I was like my god I saw I saw a guy with a kid on his shoulders and the kid was holding his nitrous balloon for him it's <laughs> fucking you have to really spiritually prepare for the level of white fuckery wow. kid shit that goes on at these shows. That's Kristen. It could be her if she plays her cards right. She could sell like hand carved wooden pipes in the lot. <laughs> James May. She should sell James May dead shirts in the lot and also an, have a nitrous tank business on the side. And have her kid fill up the balloons. If Kristen joined, like Kristen, I believe, could infiltrate the nitrous mafia and be like the nitrous mama of the lot scene at Dead & Co. and Fish shows if she played her fucking Colorado cards right. It'd be a great show. You should write it. Nitrous ma A girl just like, just disrupting like, the nitrous mafia space. Yeah. That'd be a fun show. Brittany goes over to Miss USA Naya's place with her baby Cruz. Naya has, as we said, has twins and a son who's Cruz's age. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking about Brittany's acid reflux and how she was. I can't stop thinking about her GERD. She was told. (laughs) She was told. Her what? Her GERD. Isn't that what it is? Like gastro. Oh, yeah. Something, something. She was. I just feel like she is in a place of GERD, whether it's true or not. She was told by her doctor repeatedly, like, do not drink anymore. Like, you're going to. You're going to explode. You're going to get a hole. Simply explode. You're going to get a hole in your stomach and your your esophagus. She looks like she's filled to the brim with gas. And And I say that. I say that with, like, kindness and objectivity. It's she's giving GERD. She's but she's like she's like I love my tequila shots and I just remember her like taking shots and like being in so much pain but like needing to rip shots. I know. Like remember? I thought about it too in this exact moment. Like I was flashing back to the doctor being like, "It is critical and crucial for you to end all alcohol use for the sake of your stomach lining." And her not being able to go me more than forty eight hours without ripping a double shot of tequila, on like and not even like it was just Z- Jack. No, just coming like up. sitting at your I kitchen. Just said Zach. Zach. <laughs> Jack's coming in, and she was sitting at her. I- she was being an island gal, and she literally took out the Patron, and she ripped two shots. Like, I gotta oh, have it. I gotta have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta have it. I love my tequila. I <laughs> fucking love I my. It. I'm gonna make espresso martini with this shot in my mouth. She simply. What's that condition where you're farting, but it's like really deadly? It's like you have like. <laughs> so it's it's like a thing. It's like it's not flatulence, which is just farting, but it's like some kind of. Fuck! What is that called? When you're. It's like a condition. What? I'm looking it up. Is it like you you if when you fart it's bad or you hold it in and no, it? No 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 no. <laughs> Medical time. <laughs> That's what people also search for. I fart a hundred times a day. <laughs> Girl, Why change your I diet. Why do I fart so much and it smells? <laughs> Eat something Fuck, what different. what is it called? It's called something like... What is it? Embella... Embel... Em... Embel is it? It's no, not no, no, called no, that. No, 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 no. Condition. I'm Googling bad fart disease and seeing what happens. I mean, lactose in- intolerant, gluten intolerant. No, I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. Who's listening? I just wait. What are the symptoms? You fart. It's like when you have too much, like, f- um, you have gas buildup, but yeah. it won't come out. But it's not flatulence. It's something else. But what is it? Like, I, what happens? You you just like are farting. It's like <laughs> like when I had too many grapes, I was worried that I had this condition. Filled with gas. It's what Shay Diaz had. Diverticulitis. Maybe. Ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease. No. 
I'll, chronic I'll intestinal condition, small bowel bacterial overgrowth. No, it's something else. I'm on the Mayo Clinic's website now. Anyway, Brittany has whatever this is that I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the brim. I'm on the fucking brim. <laughs> I'm on the fucking brim. I'm going to explode, but give me another shot of Kayla. Yeah, I worry. I worry for her gaseousness. <laughs> I really do. I thought about that and I was like, I pray she stops drinking. I pray she finds an alcohol free life. Um, Cause she looks uncomfortable. She does. Jesse or Michelle comes over and she talks about how shitty Jesse is as a partner. And she's like, I slept in another room with a baby for a year and he never once woke up to care for it. She's literally has like dead inside vibes. Naya's like, that sucks. Jesse wakes up every night with, or Daniel wakes up every night with me. She's like, that sucks. I'm gorgeous. And I breastfeed each of my twins on one tip. Do you, do you feed on both? And she goes, mm-hmm. and Brittany goes, wow. <laughs> she goes, baby fever up in this bitch. Baby fever. She's like, <laughs> I need baby fever. I need to have another baby right now. I'm thinking about giving it another month and then I'm going in. I love that. I need Jax's cum. I won't be filled up with cum. I'll bet she probably feels great being pregnant and not drinking. A bellum. It's called like something bellum. Um, guys, I'm serious. It's something. <laughs> So the boys go to like a weird golf basement and they like hit golf balls into a screen. Je- Jesse goes, I think Luke's over his head with the boys. And they all are so mean to Luke. Yeah. Luke is an outsider and he's like on their show and he's kind of like a weirdo. He's just not like an L.A. dude. He has. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. I think he's probably harmless and a sweetie, but he does have vague, like. He's a bit Jeffrey Dahmer. He's a bit shooter energy. Mm-hmm. I mean, the um, Colorado of it all doesn't yeah. help. <laughs> he goes, Jax. He's serving and giving Columbine with Luke. Littleton. He goes, Jax, you still block me on Instagram? And Jax goes, I don't know. Did I? He was, why don't you check and then I'll see if I can unblock you. I was like, Jax. He's so mean to him. He's so mean. They ask him about his child plans with Dodie. And he's like, we'll work it out. I was like, that's the wrong way to go into having a child. I still can't believe that Jax, Brittany, and Kristen were all at Sheena's wedding. And we were like. Robbed. We were robbed slash gaslit into believing that they weren't there with the editing. I was truly, I'm still shook. Like, they were probably at all the parties, all the stuff, just in the background, and we never saw. It's not okay. Mm -mm. They also, honestly, have Sandoval and Ariana and Rachel to thank for getting this show now. I know. I don't think the Valley would have happened if Scandoval hadn't happened. Again, I'm still haunted. Rachel's puss pays all their bills. I'm still haunted by Rachel's blurred out face. I know. In the Sandoval pics. Um... So they just like rib Luke until the point where he seems like he's almost going to cry. And he's like, goes back to Colorado and like starts building a bomb. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'll show them. I'll show them. I'll show them. Jackson Britt walk over to Janet and Jason's house. Where they walk in and Brittany goes, my God, it's hotter than the hinges of hell out there. Hard in Hades. Hotter than a skillet out there. Oh, I'm sweating up a storm. It's so hot. They're like, come in, come in. Get in here, girl. Then she goes, look at Jax's armpits and his armpits. <laughs> his armpits are simply brown. <laughs> he's like, it's self-tanner, but it looks like he's sweating like poop. <laughs> he probably does sweat some poop. Brittany goes, it's coffee sweat. He goes to the AM, PM every day to get his coffee. Jax is, who who knew? Jax is the most loyal customer ever of this of a Valley AM, PM. It he reminds goes, I him need of, that truck driver coffee. He's like, I have a I rewards need, program. He's like, I might need to drive all the way to Florida and it helps me. I was like. I like where his head's at is like, if I need to escape on, if I need to go on the lamb, I need to be fully caffeinated. He is the, he's like. Ready 
to get the heads up and have to evacuate at a mm-hmm. moment's notice. And he uses the AM PM coffee to get in that place. I have to say gas station coffee is really good. Is it? Yeah. I'm sorry. People are probably like shaming me right now, but well, like, I guess it must be cause he's going there. Yeah. It is like, it's just, it's like extra cold. Sludgy. No, it's just, there's something extra cold about it. Cold? You get a cold iced coffee. I don't understand. If I'm I, assuming he's getting iced coffee in the hot, hot summer of the valley. I remember that. I remember when 7 Eleven got one of those machines that made like the gas station, like cappuccinos. And that was a formative experience for me. Like, yeah. that, I was like, this has changed everything. But I haven't had a coffee from a gas station in. I don't know ever it's but like, aside from the 7-Eleven cappuccinos. It's like how a diet Coke from the fountain tastes different. It tastes better and you can drink more and like, it's like more refreshing. I There's, read though a horrific Reddit thread recently. Don't tell me. Okay. Okay. Um, Jack, she goes, look at Jack's look at his pits. And then she goes, <laughs> Look at his coffee stains. Big old brown armpit. Big old brown armpit. I love it. <laughs> I love it when Brittany calls him out. She has Jax. She's the kind of person that would, he like says something. She's like, no, you pooped your pants the other day. Like, yeah. it's like that. Oh, Jax, you're lying over there. You shit your pants and I had to clean out the, the, the track marks on your underwear. I have to go in and dig them out. It's fucking, <laughs> it's a fucking swamp up in those tidy whities don't try to fool them. You got urine stain in the front and a sh- and track marks in the back. She goes, you smell like piss and shit every day. <laughs> you have to shower four times a day. Oof. I bet they have. I bet she launders with like a clothesline. <laughs> Just like Mama back in Kentucky. We, dr- we air dry. So they're going to have a big birthday party for Janet. Yeah. Jax goes, Janet and Jason. Great couple. <laughs> Wait, the the way these people love to all nest together in like the same apartment building. Mm. I've never known such a crew of people to like all decide that they're going to move into like a really ugly apartment building together. Mm -hmm. They love identifying like heinous apartments in the same building and being like, we're all moving in. They're truly like termite energy. They are. It's the brood. It's. (laughs) <laughs> they love to brood. I was mind blown when I found out Kristen and Katie live in the same apartment building now in the Valley. Wait, are Kristen and Katie not friends? No, they are friends. Cause Katie kind of shaded her on this episode. No, they're friends. She, she was friends with Kristen. She clarified in the after show that she and Kristen are tight. Okay. They like get together and like rock and roll together. Yeah. They're like, let's sit on the floor and do fucking makeup, rock and roll. And Katie <laughs> goes, I'll do a winged liner. <laughs> Kristen comes in with her giant. Remember when Kristen went on a date and she bought, she brought Adderall, morning condoms. after pill. Yeah. Condoms. And like she came over and did her makeup while drinking a screwdriver at Stassi's apartment. She fucking gets down on that floor, sits cross-legged, splays out her dirty makeup everywhere, and just goes rock and roll, and just, like, fucking... Puts a wing on. Ta- puts a wing on. <laughs> <laughs> she comes in, and you just hear... She goes, let's fucking do this, bitch. She goes, close the shades. It's fucking rock and roll time. She spills out all the makeup, and she goes... <laughs> she tweezes her eyebrows. <laughs> she goes. She You hear this song. <laughs> Wait, not this. I was like, that's way too chill for the energy that fucking rock and roll Doty makes. You hear it. Your guns and roses. You hear a knock on your door. <laughs> Here. Dodie rips it. She goes, let's get the fucking makeup on. Rock and roll. 
Fucking rock and roll. Give me some of that foundation. I'll get the wingtips. <laughs> Let's get this fucking bitch going. Hurricane Give me that fucking Dodie. jungle juice. <laughs> Hurricane Dodie comes to town. Yeah. She goes, let's fucking make some screwdrivers, some fucking slushies with vodka in it. Shake them all up. I've got jello shots in the making. Let's do this shit. Get on the carpet. Lay out all the furniture. Get it all in the other room and get that fucking eyeshadow out. I need some <laughs> eyeliner to the gods. Fuck you, bitch. He goes, Kristen, I don't know. And she goes, sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck You're down, bitch. The floor. You're putting a wing on. I and want falsies. She goes, I want three Behind the, she goes, I want three hand behind the back push ups right now, bitch. And if not, you take 10 shots with each push up you do. She was fucking rock and roll. You can hear her coming down the hall. You hear that music like really faintly. And you're like, no, you're, she's coming. You're. <laughs> no, turn it all the way down. Hey, bitch, it's makeup time. We're going out tonight, bitch. Get on the floor. I'm ovulating. <laughs> Base me. Base me. <laughs> she goes, fucking base me. And you hear guns and roses. She goes, I have four working eggs left. Base me. Base me now. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm shook by her egg count. But I'll bet her years of hard living didn't help. How many does she have? I don't know. Didn't wasn't there a clip of like the doctor being like, "You have four eggs." I was like, "Damn, we're I mean, like Courtney fucking." Crash got Prague. We're gonna like, but she has like millions of dollars. <laughs> Dodie has like a million pennies. <laughs> Dodie has like a piggy bank that she can crack open when the times get tough. Does her family help her? I don't. She doesn't give me the vibe of someone who's close with her family. These guys are all I have. My eggs are all I have. Based me. I mean, I w- I want her to have a kid. I do too, but not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Please, God. Jax is like, Dodie is a mess. And I like, I care about her, but she frustrates me to no end. And like, he's like, I just know that this is not the vibe. Which. He is not wrong. He's known her for 15 years. Like, I just think, like, I understand the urge to... I know that the biological clock is a very cursed thing, and it's a hard thing for women to have to deal with. But I don't think... Ha- I think there are ways to have a kid that don't involve partnership that clearly... Like, I don't think this is, like, a long-term thing. I don't understand why you would... You she know you're calm. so chaotic. You know you're so chaotic, and you're chaotic in relationships. I just think it's irresponsible to bring, a, then, a child into that chaos. When you could be... When you could just be, the I great. guess, like, a single mom. But I think... But is single mom Dodie better than relationship I Dodie? I think she'd be a... I think she might be a good She'll be a mom. good mom. But it's like... She'll be a good single mom. (laughs) I mean, if all goes well on the valley and maybe she, like, saves her money and is, like, frugal, maybe she'll... She could set herself up for... I don't know. Dodie's a survivor. She's a fucking rock star, despite it all, and despite her very violent, racist behavior. Like, she's... She's bounced back. I know. I guess it's just like, I don't know. I don't relate to feeling like, oh my God, I have to have a kid and I have to have it now. Well, but she's also surrounded by people who've like. All of her friends have babies. Yeah. So she's like, she's probably like, I want to feel like. I want to join up. Yeah. Um, Brittany is throwing, this is cute. She throws a county fair party because Janet and her, Janet's from Ohio. She's from Kentucky. They bond over their love of a state fair. Love a state fair. So she throws like a county fair barbecue, and there's it's actually really cute. There's like corn dog. There's a lot of like inflatables, balloons. It's really cute. Brittany's wearing like giggle. Whoa. I'm wearing my pigtails. I liked it. I think Brittany's a good friend, probably. I think she is too, and I think she's like a good mom and like cares about people. <laughs> um. Zach is dressed, comes dressed like a like mullet, long haired, 
like queen. a girly. Yeah. And she walks in and she goes, oh my God, Zach, you're so funny. Do they not like each other? I don't know. He's chosen Dodie. Something's up, but they have a weird vibe. Mm-hmm. We'll, f- we'll find out. I'm excited though that there is like finally one gay in the mix on one of these shows. And he's at least like seems kind of chaotic. We never get like a main gay character no, on Housewives not. or Vanderpump Rules or like I can't even think. Is what? there a gay on Below Deck? Yeah, there's a gay Chief Stew who's great. Okay, he's the head bitch, and he's his name. He's actually really cute. His name's Frazier, and he kisses. He has like a little like romance with a straight guy. Okay, who's, like openly bi curious. Yeah, I think Zach has. Potential. Potential to serve a lot of cunt if he plays his cards right. Well, I was watching season two of the Pride episode and I was like, for this for a show that's all about like serving That literally has made its bones off of being in the gayest part of Los Angeles. There's literally no other than Billy Lee, there's been which was pretty radical and cool that they had a trans like a hot trans woman on For like one season. For one season and then she And was then like, Jax got to go Hey, what's up? Do you have a dick or a pussy? <laughs> and Lala headbutted her. <laughs> like truly, it's pretty cool and radical that they submitted a trans woman to like straight aggression. But I just, mean, I just mean like <laughs> that. But they like got her out of there, and then the other only gay was like Log- sinister gay Logan, and then cool gay Logan. But he's always he's not. But in he's enough. not really on the show. Show no, but like we need more of him. There was only like and James, gay panic James, James. and trans violence. But in this season two, <laughs> and Lisa was like, "We stand with our gay LGBTQ we stand neighborhood gay rights," and they have their float, and, and it's also like, like their day of when the, the, the shoot Orlando shooting happened. happened. And Lisa was like, "Will you please come into work on this extra sensitive day?" And Katie was like, "No." Katie was like, "I don't feel safe." <laughs> but on the, they're on the float, and Stassi's yelling at Jax for going home with a twenty-one-year-old, and like they're just not even like paying attention to what's and and you see Tom. Sandoval have like gay panic about putting on angel wings, which was really surprising. I'd forgotten about this. He goes, Oh my God, I'm like so fierce putting and I was like, What? He hadn't yet leaned into his power of gay baiting. Yeah. And femininity. So You know what I also thought? Just What? Katie (laughs) Katie kind of looks like Sandoval sometimes now. They look like they could be twins. What if they discovered that they're twins? What if they like three women each other and like persona and like turn into each other? Mm-hmm. That'd be that. cool. What if they freaky Friday? She wakes up as Sandoval. He wakes up as Katie. She's like tra- desperately trying to talk to Ariana and explain. About that, and she's like, she like will not. <laughs> like we didn't talk about sandwiches, girl. Dude, dude it's me, it's dude. me Katie. It's Katie Your sandwich partner. Ariana's like, don't fucking. She talk has to, to me. tell Anne, like, please tell Ariana it's Katie. Ooh. Um. Yeah, the the party gets underway. Dodie inexplicably has a wrist brace, which feels like very right for her. <laughs> she had it in the first <laughs> scene too. There's always like a. T- I was. She's there was always, always a little injured. I feel like there was always like a TA. Like a teacher's assistant growing up in like grade school who had an arm brace or something, like a wrist. You're just like, there's always something with Dodie. Mm-hmm. Um, Jax is very threatened by Daniel. Who's Daniel? The the like failed actor. Oh, okay, yeah. Because he's like, he's like, I get it. You're like a really good dad and all, but like you're just always talking about it. Yeah, because Daniel's whole persona is like, we have three kids under two. But they also have like a traveling nanny who's like, they're pushing their kid behind them. I guess that's what you have to have. Maybe they have some money. I feel like with their history, maybe. Do you win money as Miss America? Do you get like a mill? It's like a scholarship kind of thing. Mm, that's worthless. Um, let's We'll fact check that. If, yeah. If you get money. You should. Miss USA. Which one Donald Trump did? Was that Miss America? I think they're the same thing. What's the one where Miss... No, they're two different. Miss USA is different than yeah. Miss America? Yes. How can you have two Misses of the same country? They're different, girl. Yeah, they're two different. What about Miss World? That's like the whole world. What about Miss Universe? That's the whole universe. <laughs> Remember when Donald Trump made that girl like apologize? 
Which girl? She made like he made the winner of either whatever he was in charge of like apologize for like uncouth photos of her, and he did like a press conference, and she was like, Whoops, "Thank you, Donald." <laughs> you remember that Rosie O'Donnell made fun of it on the View. I love. Um, also, Mia says that she coached Rachel oh. in her pageantry. You got a six-figure salary for the year of Miss USA for one year. They're like, you get a hundred k. I guess. Okay, well, that nets out to like probably fifty k after taxes. everything set taxes, your reps, mm. like travel upkeep. Like you have to, your job is literally to be like hot and beautiful. That's expensive. Rachel was like, she is my idol. She is I my have, mentor. I was mentored by the Miss America. Is she America or USA? Miss USA. Sorry. So, um, Jesse and Michelle are fighting. They're then, doing that thing where it's like, this is truly I hate it. hell. I hate it. Do you want to go check on your daughter? Whoa. Ooh. The day that I ever say that to someone is the day that I also just march straight to the courthouse and get a divorce. To do that in front of, to subject others to that is so like. Do you want to go check on your daughter? Energy is like it's, you're wrong for that. It's one thing to subject friends to like you're fighting, but when there's a child involved that you and this person created, that's when it's like, oh. And he goes, no, <laughs> which is even <laughs> what's also what's worse than doing. Do you want to go check on your daughter? Also, Jesse and Kristen like kind of like weirdly like flirt. And she he pinches her nipple, he, like, but she her... pinched his nipple first, which I thought was a little bit forward. And then he he gives her a titty twister, and she's like, "I'm like," <laughs> she goes, "I'm like shocked that he touched me." She touched him first. I'm like, Wait, not saying I could see chaotic Dodie fucking him. He like likes her chaos. Yeah, a man on the brim of marriage dissolution. And also, I think she, I mean, that would be ultimate scan of all vibes. I felt like I was. But I did, I was like, when she grabbed his nip, I was like, um, what? And then he grabbed hers. And I was like, excuse me? I felt like I was dreaming in that part. Yeah. I was like, am I, am I high? Like, it felt so like, wait, what? I don't know people that do that to each other. Certainly not. Like, I do that with my best friend, Matt. Like, we like slap each other you play grab ass with each other yeah but like but i don't i don't know mm -mm. i'm uncomfortable by that i would never like be like <laughs> man's nippies it's it was a little weird it's a little much um i love sheena brock and lala just being there and being mute <laughs> except brock is like they're like producers called and they were like you have to go to this and she was like and they went a thousand dollars she like, was okay. All right. Um, Brock, Michelle. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Michelle corners Dodie, and Dodie's like, "Anything I should know before I fucking have a kid?" And Michelle's like, "Yeah, just make sure you like ask basic questions before you do it." And I was like, "Oh my god, she's in a place of ask basic questions." I thought Kristen was gonna be like, "Yo, your man, just give me a titty twister." She was like, any advice for me, mama? Rock and roll. And she's like, yeah, ask basic questions and make sure you know what a person's goals are before you procreate with them. And she goes, fuck yeah. Which I would think that's like, I still forget that like people will, people be having kids with no conversation. Look at 90 Day Fiance. People love to just like bring a life into the world with zero conversation about how that's going to play out, which is so crazy to me. I, I think there's a thing where they both it's one or both parties of the couple. Like when they do something like that, where they just like have a kid and they're like, I guess we have to, they crave entanglement and chaos and a child is the ultimate entanglement. But to like go through what it to me is like a huge life decision and not be, like, very communicative with the other person about how it's going to go. Would you just take a picture I of? Just got a, I just got a, my phone just got me an alert. What did it say? And I got an email, the gay, the gay agenda. No. 
It's like a, it's like a, one of those like spam email, and it goes, Carrie. What are the things I love about? It? I was like, damn, she's clock. How did they clock me? <laughs> How do they know? I mean, but like that freaks me out. Sorry. What are they saying? One of the things we love about you. They're like one of the things we love it's about a con- you. It's a Congress email. It's for like Congress. Someone, a, a candidate being like, hey faggot. <laughs> One of the things it's your I duty love. to. They're like one of the things I love is how you take it so deep. Yeah. So please vote for us. <laughs> it's talking about like you're gay. You need to vote for me because I'll help the gays. <sighs> you're like I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, but the. But like, couples love to do this. They love to just be like, let's spawn human life and not on a have, whim. Yeah, just be like, it all whatever happens happens, and like. Or just be like, we'll figure it out. And it's like, no. no. No, there's a there's a human life that you are responsible now for the rest of time. Yeah, everything we do and every decision we make will affect this human being for the rest of their existence. And then the things that we pass on to them, they might pass on to their kids. So you and I need to get real on the same page about how all this is going to go down. And one day when we are like close to death, this child will take care of us. Hopefully. Hopefully. If they don't, if they're not a strange. Succumb to drug addiction, alcoholism, mental illness, but, or just hate us. Or join like or a die. Fr- or join like a fringe militia. Yeah. <laughs> or join a cult that we can't get them out of. Or just hate us inexplicably. Or hate us for really good reason. I feel like I have a... You don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, mama. <laughs> hey, mama. And then Jack. I love just ask basic questions, please. Just ask them one basic question. She goes, I really wish I had. And I didn't. I love that they were like, hey, King. The, I don't even understand that mindset. Hey, King, want to fuck and have a kid? And he's like, yeah, queen. And go into business together? Jesus Christ. We see a shot of Janet enjoying a hot dog, and you just hear Zach off screen go, oh my God, Janet loves hot dogs. (laughs) (laughs) You fucking bitch. You little bitch. I love that. I love it too. Oh my God, Janet loves hot dogs. Janet loves hot dogs. What a sound bite. He's going to be good, I think. He's going to be really essential to you. No, I'm into it. I love Brittany being like, oh my God, I just love the fair. I love her going, Cruz. (laughs) Wait. On the after show, bless you. <laughs> bless you. And Tony goes, whoa. <laughs> on the after show, they have now the Valley people on the after yeah. show. And they go, who's like the number one guy in the group? And they make the guys like. Sorry. No, you're fine. They make the guys like answer. They're like, is Jack still the number one guy? Or like, who is it now? Blah, blah, blah. And the guys are answering. And then it cuts to. Um, Kristen, who is she sitting with? Like Lala, I think. And she, they go, who's the number one guy in the group? And Kristen goes, Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> they go, no, we mean the adults. And she goes, oh. <laughs> I love her just going, Cruz. Cruz, a baby. She's, she's, she's <laughs> going to steal ba- Cruz. She should. Just for fun. Yeah. But that like, she'll give him back. And nothing, no harm will come of it. No. It will actually be like a beautiful memory in his life and like not traumatic at all. It will just be like a fun vacation with his wild rock and roll auntie. Auntie Kristen's wild ride mm-hmm. to like, she takes him she to takes like, him like Arizona. Bush Gardens in Virginia and back. <laughs> um, oh, Cruz, get back here. And then, and all of a sudden Brock's like, hey, Jax, go pull down, go pants Daniel. And Jax is like, yeah. And he goes and it's it's a little aggressive. This really rubbed me the wrong way. Me, I need, I have a few things to say. <laughs> say it, Queen. I thought about you because don't didn't you like have a weird not I, like it happened to you, but like you're just like really freaked happen? out by pantsing. It happened to me once and I cried. <laughs> it's a really it's actually really embarrassing. It's aggressive and weird. Daniel's his back is he's like I think he's even holding one of the kids he's posing with Nia and like for a picture and Jax pulls his pants down he's not wearing underwear so I was also just like this is so inappropriate at a child's party like what if a child saw a penis yeah he he pulls down his bathing suit his his dick is just out and he's like and then Nia breaks down and like runs into the other room and starts crying which like I get her. I get it too. She, I think she felt very shaken. I think she's really sensitive. She's also like one month postpartum. 
But also I just like, I just feel like that's the kind of thing when you're like a little kid that if like you accidentally look over and you just see all of a sudden someone's penis and exposed in that way, you're going to like have a core memory around that. (laughs) You just like, you know what I mean? Like that's like a freaky thing that would happen if you're a kid. Well, look at, look at who we're dealing with. (laughs) Imagine being a kid and then realizing, oh my God, my dad is Jax Taylor from Vanderpump Rules. This made me, I like felt for Nia in this moment. Me too. She's like, I think she's exhausted. She's like. She's crying in like the man cave and it cuts to Sheena who's also in the room and Sheena's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sheena was like, your husband's the one that fucking put him up to this. But um, I think she just like really loves her husband and felt like he was. Yeah, but it was like, this is an assault. Yeah. He, he seemed embarrassed too, right? Brittany also is giving like Brit- abuser apologist. She's like, oh, oh. She goes, she Jax goes, would never. I'd never. I feel so bad. He would never want to do that to you. She goes, oh, you're crying here at the. You're crying here at the county fair barbecue. I would never want you to. I'd never want you to cry at the state fair barbecue. That's not what I wanted with the with the straight care barbecue. And she's like, come on <laughs> out of here. Come on, let's get you a corn dog. She clutches Nia's head into her bosom and come she goes, here. she goes, come here. Let me breastfeed you. I still got some milk. She goes, these are big old jugs. You know, I keep my milk. She goes, who's breastfeeding you, Nia? She goes, you're feeding everyone. No one's feeding you. Come on, get on over here. You have mama suckle. But she, she, <laughs> she keeps going, oh, last thing I wanted anyone at this party to do was cry. I never want anyone to cry. So, oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's she like. Goes, Jack, get in here. Apologize. She's also like blackout. And then you <laughs> see Sheena going. All the adults are doing like double shots. You see, you see Sheena going. Sheena goes this. Maybe so. She's so she didn't like that. She loved it. And then Jax comes <laughs> in and he goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm doing me to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I get it. It's like it's, it's all fun and games until you expose a penis to a young child. I don't think I don't even think that you were necessarily she was crying about that, which is like the the thing that sh- everyone should be most alarmed at. Which is like <laughs> I think she's just like, This is our first day of filming. And you like did this. It's like on humiliating. Camera. Yeah, it's, it's like, very strange. Like we're already She's just having like, it's just one of those things where you're taken aback and then suddenly you're just crying and it's emotional. But it's also like, this is already bad enough. Like, this show is already like... I'm an, already on the valley. This is a humiliation <laughs> in itself. Don't de- don't degrade my husband even more by pantsing him. Yeah. I, I it was a it was, brutal awakening for I, Nia. I thought it was really... It was bullies. It was a real bully move of Jack's. Mm-hmm. It's a bully thing to do is pants. Yeah. And then there, Brittany goes, come on, everyone. Let's go dunk Jax. Who wants to dunk Jax? We're going to dunk him now. We're going to dunk him to pay penance. <laughs> come on. Who wants a corn dog? I've got five corn dogs right here. I love corn dogs. So they all gather in the backyard and it's like them like dunking Jax in like kind of as it, things fade to like golden hour, like hot valley dusk. I was like, this is bizarre it made me really immensely sad because i think this is like the most fun this is like what the the fun they have now is like getting blackout in someone's backyard i'm happy that britney and jacks were able to hold on to their house for this long they got their they got <laughs> off their asses and did a hell of a lot of cameos and joined slim fast or whatever britney did weight watchers and got that money honey oh oh i, I would never want anyone to cry oh. at the state fair huh, you oh. look hungry and thirsty come on <laughs> who's feeding you dear dear who's feeding you who's feeding you dear who's feeding you over there she somehow has more of an accent than ever before oh no how long do you think they all like passed out at like 8 p.m that night who drove people home well, i think they all i think they all live close by except for those chateaus the chateaus they i was like they they needed to go way sooner than Pantsgate. Yeah. Nia's like, I really want to leave. I want to go now. No. <laughs> I go, come here. <laughs> um, well. Well, we love the valley. We love it. I'm here for it. I'm ride or die. Hopefully you are too, but if not, too bad. If not, that's happening. Yeah. You're getting what you wanted. You're getting what you wanted. Come everyone. here and have a suckle. Come here. Have a little suckle I from need our my, teeth. I need, you know who I need to have a little suckle? Our cult, our cult members. Our cult members. Oh, let's oh, go from the bad. Jeff- don't cry at this oh, county fair. Jeffrey Pradima. Jeffrey Pradima. Get over here. Have a suckle. Get over here, Jeffrey. RJ, RJ? I'm going to squirt you right in the face. Squirt, squirt. 
Kim Lucas. Kim Lucas. Oh, I know you like to feed Emily. Emily. <laughs> these are these are all my little piggies having to suckle at Mama's mm-hmm. teeth. Nick Sedaris. Nick Sedaris. <laughs> oh, patron of the farm. Oh, we love patron. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, love- we love Orlando. Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, we love Hillary. What do you think about Kit Moore? Oh, I just love that Kit Moore. What <laughs> love, a little more. I love the way she feeds. She goes, I want more, more, more. That's just Kit Moore. More, more, more. Rochelle Martino. Oh, we just love that Tino. God, Kathy West. Gosh, jolly, I love. <laughs> gosh, jolly. Gosh, golly, I love Diane Weiss. Mariah Kay. Oh, that Mariah. She just comes right up and sucks. <laughs> Allie Robinson. Oh, that Allie. She goes hoot hoot. <laughs> she was flying all over the place. Matthew. I love Matthew. Thomas. Thomas. Summer Moon. Honey Davies. Oh, Summer Moon. We love you, Summer. She's only known the tea. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. Tim- oh, no one loves to breastfeed more than Timothy. Sharon Baum, realtor, found me my barn where I can go feed my hoglets. <laughs> Pull it back. Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Mike Earhart. We love that Mike. Oh, that Mike Earhart. I sound like the guy going, <laughs> boss CEO. You sound like, think about the girls. Think about the girls. Shelby and Dolly. Mary. Mary. Mazatov. Mazatov. Lazara. Lazara. Jessica Hernandez. Woo! Lady Swampwich gives you no fucks. fucks. Lady G- Swampwich gives much sucks. The lady doth protest. The lady doth. Bridget Wasowski. Where? Dan- <laughs> Danielle McMillan. Oh, McMillan's Bakery. Oh, my goodness. Brittany Ryan Wise. <laughs> Rachel Knight, get in here and have a little suckle. Brick Johansson, you too. <laughs> you have to go with it now. Lucy from London flew, oh, we, what they, flew what, all the way over for a big old the feeding. They all loved to They're hungry. Suckle. <laughs> Thank you so much to our cult members for your continued patronage and suck. We're not done yet. Sarah Elizabeth. Sarah Elizabeth. All my hoglets. Oh, you know, I, gave birth, I gave birth to 34 healthy little hoglets. <laughs> Who's the number one girl in the group? Gina Sapienza. <laughs> oh, there's Rachel in Dublin. She's a bit of the runt, but I still feed her nothing. The Irish one. Denise Jeanette Bruce. She's the queen of the May. Makeup fresh. We can't forget. We can't forget makeup <laughs> fresh. Don't you forget feeding. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry about that. Listen, I don't know where that's been took a long me. day. It has been a long day. We love you all. We love you. Goodbye. <laughs>